Chris Grizzlies, and welcome to Grizzly AM, your morning news show. I am Krishna. And I am Carson. Today is Tuesday, June 8th, 2021. For our kindergarten through second grade students, it is Special Area Day 4. For our third through fifth grade students, it is Special Area Day 2. Please stand for the morning pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the news. Our friendly competition continues. Please return any library books you have as soon as possible. We still have almost 200 books checked out. Here is our current standings. First place still belongs to third grade with 12 books still checked out. Fourth grade still in last place with 43 books still checked out. Keep finding those books. Tomorrow is our ARA celebration. Our DA third graders already celebrated with a digital dance party. Congratulations to all. <laughs> Our fifth graders enjoyed their glow parties. Take a look. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, baby, when I turn it on. All from my city, all from my home. We're flying up no ceiling when we in our zone I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body When it drops, ooh I can't take my eyes off of it Moving so phenomenally You more like the way we rock it So don't stop And under the lights when everything goes Nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close Now it is time for a summer safety tip with Miss Deverson. Well, good. Good morning, Grizzlies. Miss Bradshaw and Miss Deverson coming at you today with some more summer safety tips. Today we are going to discuss summer safety tips when you are playing outside. Okay, our first one is we are going to use insect propellant or bug spray and sunscreen when you are playing outside because we have those mosquitoes and everything we don't want to get all those bites on us so make sure you are using that sunscreen and make sure you are using insect repellent make sure there is no standing water in your yard or around your house pools of stagnant water can often bring in more of those bugs more in the buckets pots and other containers that are breeding grounds for mosquitoes so help your parents clean up those areas before you play outside Next one is we want to make sure we stay hydrated. We want to drink lots and lots of water when possible because we want to make sure that we are hydrated during the day. Now, when possible, we want to make sure that we dress in long sleeves and pants when we're outside. 
where there are large, large numbers of mosquitoes or other insects. Lightweight clothing with SPF, which is your sun protective factor clothing rating, can double as both sunscreen and insect protectant. So make sure when you are at the beach, in the water, in the pool, you have those long sleeves on. Keeps you from getting burned. Also keeps mom from having to put all the sunscreen on you all the time. All right, this is a big one, guys. And I see lots of middle schoolers every day who aren't doing this. Make sure when you are biking, wear your helmet. When you're skateboarding, when you're skating, when you're otherwise riding a wheeled vehicle, a scooter, a properly fitted helmet that is closed and buckled, <laughs> can prevent serious head injury, making it a crucial safety precaution. Other pads for knees, elbows, wrists can also be used for preventing scrapes, cuts, and fractures in case of falls. All right, now guys, this is a big one. This is really important to me and it's something we don't always think about, you don't always talk about. When you're playing outside, it is really important even if you're playing hide and go seek and you have found the perfect place to hide, it is unsafe to play or hide in an enclosed space like old appliances, coolers, car trunks, anything that closes on you. So I want to make sure that everyone stays clear of those areas that are in the yard. So don't do like Bradshaw here. Make sure that you stay clear of those. Guys, have a great, great Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow with some more summer safety tips. Emerson and Mrs. Bradshaw, those great for those great tips. Now it is time for the principal's corner with Miss Wilder. Grizzlies, what an exciting morning already learning about our safety tips. Thank you, Miss Bradshaw and Miss Steverson. That was great. Uh, just a couple of reminders. Today is our first early release day, and um, we have our fifth grade kickball game today and our color run afterwards for our wonderful fifth graders. Boys and girls, if you are out there being a spectator, Please be respectful and also do a great job outside um, while your teachers are there walking around and be on your best behavior. Another uh, reminder, I heard we have lots of library books still out. So boys and girls, I want everyone to go home tonight. Make sure you don't have any books at your house. Um, when we add these all together, they do get expensive. So please return your books so the next group of Grizzlies next year can enjoy um, all these wonderful books that we have in our library. So please get your books in. Um, let's try to get them all in tomorrow. And my last reminder, my Digital Academy students, we are going to be collecting your Chromebooks. So remind your parents, get those Chromebooks back to Gilchrist so we can have those ready for you next year. All right, I hope everybody has a wonderful Tuesday and I will see you again later. Thank you, Miss Wilder. Our thought for today is, did you look in your desk for that lost library book? Please join us again tomorrow for another edition of Grizzly Have a great day.